Hi, I'm Matt Cole, welcome to The Hub Show, and in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some new and exciting products. We're gonna be discussing your chamois, Zwift racing, and upgrading wheel sets. Let's get stuck in. We're mixing it up this week and taking a look at some hot and exciting products that are out there right now. Starting with these, the Schwalbe Ice Spiker Pros. Now these have got 402 spiked knobs to grip into the snow and ice. So they would have been perfect over the last few days when we've had a rare bit of snow and ice over in the UK. I've only ever really messed about with these in the car park when we had a bit of snow in work. But if you use these ice spikers regularly, let us know what they're like down in the comment section below. These are gonna be popular. They're the Shimano GR5 flat pedal mountain bike shoes. Check them out, they've got reinforced toe and ankle protection, and they use Shimano's rubber outsole for perfect grip into those pins on your pedals. The next thing is this Endura single track jacket, and this will come in handy right now because I said we've had snow and ice, and predictably, it's now tipping down outside, so this is super breathable, it's waterproof, it's packed with pockets to keep your bits in, it's got a really big hood, and plenty of extra features to keep you riding in comfort for hours. Okay, we're gonna get a pair of these in for testing really soon. They're the updated Nukeproof Horizon V2 mountain bike wheels. You can buy these individually, so you can get just the rear or just the front wheel. These Horizon wheels have got an updated design, so they offer extra performance, and they're gonna be ridden by Team Chain Reaction Cycles at this year's Enduro World Series. We can't wait to see how the guys perform on these wheels. And this is the final hot product from my selection. This is the POC Tectal mountain bike helmet. This is the Fabio Vibma limited edition model. I've been riding this for the past couple of months. It's really comfortable. It's got plenty of vents. But the only thing, in my opinion, that lets it down is this old school strap. Because I'm used to uh, wearing the old Fidlock now with this magnetic buckle. I know it sounds petty, but it does make a, little, a bit of a difference, especially when you've got the thicker gloves on. The Fidlock is just way easier to do, do up and undo when you're having a break on the trail or when you're starting out or finishing. But super comfortable helmet. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments section below. If you want to see any of these products in more detail, let us know down in the comment section. We'll order them in and give you a first look. The first question we asked you lovely YouTube subscribers over in the community tab was, have you ever upgraded your wheels? And the options were, yes, I have, no, I haven't, and I didn't even think about doing that. We had two and a half thousand votes on this one, so thanks for getting involved. 43% of you said, yes, I have. 53% of you, no, I haven't. And 5% of you, I didn't even think about doing that. And I'm no mathematician, but 50, 40, 90, 6 plus 5 is 101%. Huh? It's a YouTube problem, don't complain to us. So let's see what you said over in the comments. Bad Boy Bikers is back. I upgraded my rear wheel because I destroyed my old one. Seth says, I came close to having two when I dented my rim pretty bad, but some pliers and spray paint did the trick. There you go, Seth. Dara says, I custom built an NS Eccentric. I took parts off my old giant Fathom. I needed new wheels after about a month. I rode with 23 PSI and weighed 60 kilograms. So I don't see why they took such a beat in. I got a set of DT Swiss E1900s for myself. Sounds good, Dara, good man. Too Low Coo says, I don't need to. I've got Hope Tech wheels laced up to Pro 4 hubs. That, that sounds like a good combo. And to round this one off, G Kelly says, I destroyed my stock hub and upgraded to a DT Swiss 350. I also learned how to build my own wheel in the process. Yes, G Kelly. Question two was, have you ever used Zwift? And the options were, yes I have, no I haven't, no, but I would like to, and I have no idea what Zwift is. 9% of you said, yes I have. God, I'm surprised the 9%. 43% said, no I haven't. 18% no, but I would like to. And 30% have got absolutely no idea what Zwift is. I'm using Zwift flat out at the moment. It's essentially uh, an online training and racing platform where you sit on a turbo trainer, a smart turbo trainer, or a turbo bike, um, and you can 
You can ride or race in London, in Watopia, in Paris. I love it. Um, so this is what you said. Thomas Lawson says, I used it for rehab after a knee injury, but I wouldn't use it to replace normal bike rides. Neil Martin says, no, Zwift is for roadies who are afraid of the winter. Laughing emoji, very naughty. Tom Wright says, I have and it's good fun. Did it at my mate's house and now I got a road bike and I want to do it a bit more. Tom's got the bug. Stephen Reese says, why would I? I've got a mountain bike. And to wrap this one up, Scott MTB says, I use it every day when I can. It is great. It makes the time fly by, but I prefer going out for a proper ride. Cheers, Scott. So the final question was, do you wear a chamois while mountain biking? And not on your head, down on the old nether regions. And the options were, yes, always. Never have, never will. No, but I used to, sometimes. That's none of your business. 32% <laughs> of you say yes, always. 38% of you say never have, never will. 5% no, but I used to. 70% sometimes, 7% None of your business. I pretty much always wear a chamois, chamois. Uh, it's just way more comfortable. Uh, let's see what you said. The surgic casserole says, imagine having to lube your groin to ride a bike. Lube your groin? You're not lubing your groin. Charlie Wilson says, only when doing cross country type riding. If hitting shorter trails or a bike park, then no. Owen Birch says, I sometimes ride in padded shorts, but always wear underwear. I'm not a weirdo. Do not wear underwear with padded shorts. That will, that will be very sore. Ruben Vaux says, Ruben Vaux, it hurts without a chamois, so always in every ride, under shorts. And to round this one off, Timo Celesto says, I never even used it when road biking. Woof, you must have a tough undercarriage. Cheers, Timo. Keep sending us all your pictures on social media, tag Chain Reaction Cycles and CRC Hub so we get to see them. Let's have a look at what you've been sending in, starting with Eric from South Korea. His awesome looking Vita Smithique. Loving that, Eric. Marzaki Bomber Fork, just posing there in the woods. Mid-ride, love that. Cheers for sending that one in. Oh, look at this beauty. Graham in Wales, his orange just sat there in the snow. Is that mid, like, there's not much snow on your wheels or tyres. Did you clean it especially for the picture? If so, well done you. On to the next one. This is Ross's first official post of the new rig. A custom 2021 Nuke Proof Mega 297 alloy. Love this, Ross. It's a full coil mullet setup with a mix of SLX and a GX drivetrain. Absolutely gorgeous looking bike. Health to ride. Right, on to the next one. This is Chicken Sandy's Chilly But Nice Ride, they say, on their Nuke Proof Digger gravel bike. I love that. The purple accents just setting things off nicely by the lake. Cheers for sending that one in. Keep tagging us on social media. Use hashtag Chain Reaction Cycles and hashtag CRC Hub so we get to see all your pictures and videos. There you go. That's another episode of The Hub Show. Thank you, as ever, for taking part. If you want to answer any questions from today's show, click the link in the description. And to get involved in next week's show, hit the community tab on this YouTube channel. Take it easy and have a great weekend. There's a feather, can you see it? There. I like you, you come back on in a minute. I shouldn't have to work in conditions like this, I gotta say. It's fucking freezing. That's where you're good. I mean, very small. <laughs> There you go. Uh, can you not talk? Keep sending all your images in. Images, what is this, granddad? <laughs>